Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to convert uh, a 32-bit uh, VST to a 64. It's a common problem uh, among like the, the recent DAWs that like they can't run the 32-bit VSTs, but uh, there is a solution to that problem. So the first thing you need like two things. Of course the VST that is 32-bit uh, and JBridger. So uh, the first thing I will do is I will move this 32-bit uh, this VST to recent VST folder, my recent VST folder. I'll name this 32-bit and uh, let's move it in here and then we'll yeah, let's put the DLL there. Uh, and then you need go and download JBridger. I'm not going to show that. I think you can do that on your own. And then uh, select your VST host architecture. I will be using a 64-bit host because yeah, the reason 9.5 is a 64-bit host. So click that. And yeah, here's a bunch of options and so we will use this one create bridging files inside a uh, dictionary I'll specify so let's go here recent VST let's select this folder here I want it to scan that folder Ah, okay. And then remember to run this as an administrator because you're editing files and creating files. Uh, yeah. Let's do it again. Recent VST. And then I, here I, it wants me to choose where I'll put the bridging files so I'll put it in just the recent VST let's put OK here you see now we have the 64-bit DLL version so let's see if we can get it uh, running so I start the reason 9.5 And let's see if we can find it in the instrument. Here it is. SQL. A really nice free VST plugin that you can. I'll, I'll put all the links. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And uh, write a comment if you have any questions. Bye.